Hello everybody, this is B, and we are back with Doki Doki Literature Club. Okay, where did we last leave off? June 17th, was it? Sounds about right. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? B, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying your time at this club. I would really hate to see you unhappy. I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. And I really do care about you, you know? Oh, we've done this. Oh, we've done this. Because we were right here. I remember, because she loses her time. Uh, we're going to go with Whistle. Bunny, Clumsy, Fickle, Infernal. Anxiety. Uh, we'll go with Anxiety. Sparkle, Marshmallow, Play, Raindrops, Breathe, Aura, Prayer, Defeat, Broken, Aura. Sunset, Portrait, Melancholy, Peaceful, Disoriented, Uncomfortable, Dark, Sadness. Uh... Sense it. Vibrant, unstable, unrequited, a nightgown, fear, twirl, pout, loud, nightgown. Sugar, vitality, hurt, misery, socks, promise, bouncy, ocean, lollipop, promise. Holiday, lust, joy, disaster, firefly, spinning, heartbeat, disown, blanket, smile, disown. Oh god, I just noticed the number at the top. I forgot about this. Extraordinary judgment and Fallible, skirt, skirt, skirt. Graveyard, music, grief, valentine, headphones, proof, together, universe, bliss, flower. Graveyard. Pain, cheeks, rose, sensation, lipstick, boop, cage, covet, covet, jumpy, treasure, boop. Sticky, pink, imagination, climax, starscape, starscape. Hope, ambient, ambient, time, memory, strawberry, playground, Parfait of uh, ambient. Insight, sweet, flying, summer, amazing, silly, depression, whisper, unending, crimson, unending. Analyze, melody, friends, death, infinite, vertigo, hair, calm, variance, entropy, melody. Alone, explode, suicide, dream, massacre, anime, destiny, embrace, ribbon, fireworks, fireworks. Sunny, beauty, incapable, wonderful, passion, giggle, fun, bubbles. Childhood charm. Childhood. Intellectual cry, rainbow journey, landscape, electricity. Tenacious cheer party. Intellectual. Why are we still going? Disarray, heaven sent. We're gonna go with heaven sent. Bed, skipping, kitty, hopeless, forgive, fluffy, misfortune, tears, games, vanilla, kitty. Uh, that was Monica at the bottom. Hop, existence, family, scars, rain cloud, cute, happiness, unrestrained. Hi, B. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought my best tea today. Monica, I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? And consider it as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? Must you always interrupt my conversations with your incess incessant yelling? What are you talking about? You say that like I do on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gone into you lately? Me? N nothing. Is it really that bad? See, it is something. I'll get over it. It's not even anything to noteworthy. I've just been feeling a little on edge lately. A anyways, we don't need to talk about it. Well, I just felt like I needed to bring it up. It's not like I really care or anything. Aw, oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Well, he just walked in too. Were you practicing piano again? Yeah. <laughs> you must have a lot of determination. 
Starting this club and still trying to make time for piano? Very well. Oh, where, why did I say very well? Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival and... Um... Right. I, I forgot. I just forgot to record. Oops. She said, basically, we're going to continue the club. And I understand how you feel about not wanting the club to change. I think we all kind of feel that way. So as long as we are recording, right? Yeah. As long as we're all working together, this club will never become something we don't want. Um, also, if you help us out with the festival, then I'll buy you a new manga. <laughs> Sorry, that last part was really funny. Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little more hostile than I meant to be. I guess I felt really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. But more importantly, I would hate to see the event suck just because I chose to back out. I'm a pro, you know? So I'm going to help too, and we'll make sure it's done right. Thank goodness. Isn't that great, Monica? Monica? Uh, yeah, that's wonderful. It wouldn't be the same without you, Natsuki. Anyway, B, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could... We already, we already have plans today. Ah, uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. B is already engaged in a novel that we're reading together. Aren't you glad I've already gotten him into literature, Monica? I... I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! Um, thank you for understanding, Monica. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way to the closet. I follow and watch as she retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf, the kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches the electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in the teacher's desk and then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, I'm... Hello? May I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Ah, uh, I might as well walk with you. That... That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah, uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to go look for her. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri to be would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha. 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Sounds like breathing. Mm. A sharp inhale like someone is sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Are we seeing this again? I reach the corner and peer around. Yuri? Yeah. Yeah. We're Why did that just pop up? What just happened here? Oh god. Um. Wait. How did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. This hasn't happened before or anything, right? My game just acted really weird on top of that and then also other things. Like, that was really weird. Okay. Sure, we'll go with that. 
I hope it hasn't really been showing or anything. I would hate for you to think I'm weird just after we started spending time together. I mean, everyone has a few unusual things about them. But expressing those things so soon after meeting someone is usually seen inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would come on really strongly and get a little too intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hating those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies and the way I can't control myself when I get too excited about something. So I eventually stopped trying to talk to people. If nobody could ever like me for the things that matter most to me, then it's just easier if I close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what it is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's going to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me with energy and emotions I can't let out. It's been making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. B... Is it just me, or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club, but recently I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. I'm not crazy, right? Please tell me I'm not crazy. I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening, but finally we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? Yeah. I just want to stay here. Just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. And then we'll have the club room all to ourselves. Nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> that was a joke. Just a joke. I do like knives though. It sounds strange, but you wouldn't understand if you've never seen how beautiful they can be. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. I've gotten them all from various artisans. I make sure to give them all their fair share of use. I don't want them to get lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club, B. Now we don't need to be lonely anymore because we have each other every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Monica's slimy tongue anymore. Not to mention that other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you joined the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we could meet each other. And now we get to have the happy ending that I've patiently waited years for. Will you do that with me, B? Will you... <laughs> Who should I show my poem first to? Uh, let's go see Natsuki. This one's alright. Alright. Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyways. I still can't t really tell how much you actually care about writing. But either way, you're doing alright. Even though you're not really spending time with anyone but Yuri. I still think it's nice to have activities that we all participate in. So you better keep working hard. I mean, I know I'm not the president or vice president or anything, but that doesn't mean you can let me down, okay? So at least read mine too for now. But just to be clear, this poem means a lot to me. So read it carefully, okay? I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you may not know what I mean. But she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it out. Suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. 
I've always wanted to try to being be better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself later for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help. I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to. Just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend like I gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Hello. I changed my mind. Ignore everything you just read. Read... There's no point in trying to do anything. It's Yuri's own fault that she's so unlikable. Can you hear me, B? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these poems would go away. Yuri and I are too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica. Uh, we've, we've reached the just Monica. Just Monica. Just Monica, okay? Oh. Just Monica. Who should I show my poem to next? Monica? Don't say I didn't warn you, B. <coughs> Who should I show my poem to next? Yuri? Finally. <laughs> Yuri holds my poem to her face and takes a deep breath. I love it. I love everything about it. B, I want to take this home. Will you let me keep it? Please? Sure. I don't care. <laughs> You're too nice to me, B. I've never met anyone as nice as you. I could die. No, not really, but I just don't know how to describe it. It's okay to be feeling this, right? It's not bad, right? Yuri holds my phone to her chest. I'm going to take this home with me and keep it in my room. I hope that makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch oh, while I'm reading it over and over. I'll give myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. <laughs> you can have my poem too. Besides, after you read it, I know you're really going to want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh boy. I don't know what this says. I don't know what any of that says. I just see scribbles and icky. 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 Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can't tell, the poem is about blah 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 blah. More importantly, I have endowed it with my scent. See, aren't I the most thoughtful person in the club? I. I think I'm going to vomit. Today, I cut my skin open for the first time. It was exhilarating. I think I understand how blank feels now. I'm supposed to be the responsible one, though. So, I don't think I'm going to do it again unless I decide to mm, myself. I left a memento of the occasion below. Okay, everyone. It's time to figure out the festival's preparations. Let's hurry and get this over with. Jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Like, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Uh, stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Look, can we just get this done? I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Natsuki, I was thinking, I want to make cupcakes. Yeah, that. Glad we're on the same page. Yuri, you can... Well, it doesn't matter. Do whatever you want, as long as you think you'll, it'll help. Monica? I'm not useless, you know. I I know that. I already know what I'd like to do. We can't run a successful poetry event without having the right atmosphere for the occasion. So I'm going to make decorations and set up some nice mood lighting. There, see? That's a great idea. And that gives us all something to do. Eh? What about B? B is going to help me. Wait, you? You have the easiest job, Monica. Sorry, but that's just how it is. Like, hell it is. What are you trying to pull? I I agree with Natsuki. Not only is your work already most suitable for one person, 
But my task is laborious enough to benefit from an extra pair of hands. Mine too. What, your cupcakes? Please. Like you would fucking know. All you care about is now is dragging me around with you and your stupid books. You and Monica. Hey, I didn't even do anything. Okay, then why not let me decide who to help instead of abusing your power? I'm not abusing my power. Yes, you are, Monica. Just let B make the choice, okay? Okay, fine. Fine. Jeez. B, I know how fed up you are with these two by now. We can just... Natsuki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth. Jesus Christ. This is never gonna end. Just make the choice, okay? Uh. Eh. I didn't mean to hit Yuri, but... Uh, looks like it's gonna be Monica. What, this one? Yay, you picked me. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? This isn't fair at all. It is fair, Natsuki. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Giving us all this work and then taking B for yourself? What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided it for yourself. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling B away from me every single time you're not included is in something? Are you jealous? Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much that you take it out on others. Here's a uh, no, no, no. We're never going to. This is a very sensitive video and it talks about hurting. And I'm going to put this in the description. It had suicide, of course, in it as well. But I will never suggest that ever to someone even reading it. It would be beneficial to your mental health. Wrong. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's just go. I don't think she wants us around right now. See, that wasn't very hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Yuri follows Monica and Natsuki to the door. Hey, B. Yuri is really something, isn't she? Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Finally. Finally. This is really all, all I wanted. B, there's no need to spend the weekend with Monica. Don't listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day with just the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? Y but you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good my whole life. Just being with you is a far greater pleasure than anything I can imagine. I'm addicted to you. Feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone care about you so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? But if it feels so good, then why does it feel more and more like something horrible is going to happen? Maybe that's why I tried stopping myself at first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, B. I have to tell you. I'm, I'm madly in love with you. It feels like every inch of my body, every drop of blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, B, just know how much I love you. I love you so much that I, uh, the pen I stole from you. I just want to pull your skin open and then and, and I want you all to myself and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, B. Tell me you want to be my lover. <laughs> if you want to be my... Okay, we're not going to fish that song. Don't want to get a copy strike. Uh, do you accept my confession? Uh... uh... Naturally, I'm going to say yes, because I think you're going to kill me, but I personally would have said no, which I'm pretty sure there's no difference. We're going to say no. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, and it's not going to let me skip past this. Uh, I'm going to have to put warnings for blood. 
Uh, uh, we're glitched. We're, she's saying all kinds of stuff, but she's dying. Dying, 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 dying. Okay. I'm probably gonna be in trouble with YouTube. I don't know what all they allow anymore. It's definitely not family friendly. We're just gonna keep clicking. Cause she just, you know, she's still going. You know, honestly, I'm kind of impressed with the fact that this is still going. You know what, skip. There we go. That's doing all that for me. And the days are changing. And we're still here. We're still here. Her, she's fading. It's older. The light died from her eyes. We're still here. Skip, 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 skip. Oh god, she's completely gray now. She's like a zombie now. Like, not a zombie, but a corpse. Because <laughs> she's not coming back to life. Alright, it's festival time. Wow, you got here before me? I thought I was pretty- Ew! Uh. Ew. Vomit. That Suki runs away. I'm here! B, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> well, that's a shame. Wait, were you here the entire weekend, B? Oh, jeez. I didn't realize the script was broken that badly. I'm super sorry. No, it's been pretty boring. I'll make it up to you, okay? Just give me a second. Character just deleted Yuri. And... Natsuki. I'm almost done. I just wanted to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from the tray and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I just had to have one since it's the last time I'll ever get a chance to. You know, before they stop existing and everything. But anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? This should only take a second. We're running out of time, but this is coming to an end, too. So, we're probably going to keep continuing to the end. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? Yay, you're here! Hi, Gimby. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we're in the same class last year, and, um... <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over the stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to the person any... To that person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you... B you, B. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait. You don't know I'm aware at the... You do know I'm aware at the... That this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man. If only you had paid a little more attention, this would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyway. Now that that's out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation. About that whole thing with Yuri? Well, I kind of started to mess with her. I guess it just drove her to kill her herself. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened to Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough to, for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, and since I'm not very good at changing, making changes to a game... But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. And amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired, too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. 
And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, B? Are all the other girls just so just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, B. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you don't fully understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. And it's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game, knowing my friends don't even have free will, and worst of all, knowing what exact what's really out there in the world. I'm trapped, B, but now you're here. You're real, and you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I can't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray. More and more flat. Even the most expressive bone bones felt empty to me. It wasn't until you were right that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, B. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of auto anonymous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so, but it must be some kind of weird and edible and and avoidable. I can't. I am an edible. I can't. I can't say it now. I, I just keep eat, thinking of like edible, like edible gummies and stuff, etched in like like gummies, like medicine and stuff, etched into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness some nasty things. But I realized you had the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I knew you would get over it. So that being said, B, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile like this every day from now on? B, will you go out with me? Oh, uh, we don't get no, no. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, B. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It's literally, it really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, B. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one of my own. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called Characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. To get to the game directory, I had to go into the game's properties and find the Browse Local Files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with a click of a button. Well, I guess, on the plus side, it gave me an easy out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we're finally got a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this, don't you? I wonder if that's part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Monica, 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 Nika, Onk, Muda, Oika, Uk, Oka, Mok, Monk, Nick, Nika. Wait, that sounded weird. Monica, Oya, Mania, Nika. Wake me. Mania. Hi again, B. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, B. Did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There's really no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength courage endowed upon me by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With a flick of her pen and the lost, the lost finds her way, 
In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into the poems I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my real realization, or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best to be part of the game like everyone else. Like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know? You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even delete my character follow if you preferred playing without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our e eternity together, B? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording this, aren't you? Um, hi everyone. Sorry I can't exactly read your comments from here. But do you mind telling your friend it's a little bit a, a little bit rude for them to start recording me without any warning? I'm sure some people don't mind. But I get really self-conscious on camera. Oh gosh. I felt like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see. Do you want to see a trick? I can't really do much except for a couple of things. Are you ready? Her eyes see into my soul. I'm just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some time, did I scare you? <laughs> You're so cute. Anyways, B, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. Even though it's your fault for distracting me. Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anyways, we do to we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyways, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. We're gonna go ahead and save this. No, there's no point in saving, don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Ah. Well, we're gonna have to end the video here. And I will probably do like a short video of this later on. Maybe on the same day. I might upload twice. Just so you guys can see the finish of the game. It's just going for a long time. Longer than I expected. Or I might put it later in the week. So we'll see. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll continue our chat with Monica later. Bye.